What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Um, as many of you know, I am a birder, but actually before I was into birds, I was into snakes. And so I'm really excited to focus on mostly herps in this video, uh, besides this common portal here. Um, this is entirely dedicated to herps, which were my first uh, taxa that I fell in love with and still a group that I love um, basically as much as birds. Um, so anyways, I look forward to this video. And we started off here at Whitewater, cruising for snakes, any other herps we could get. Um, it was early in the season, and we didn't have high hopes for a crazy night, but um, definitely hoped to run into something interesting. Go along those. Let's go. Woo! They're not gonna bite, it's not gonna bite you. Can you take this for me? Yeah. So sweet. Look at him, I love the tongue flakes now. Long nose snakes are awesome. They have this super nice black cream and kind of subtle but still really noticeable and gorgeous red pattern. Um, and they have that long nose which they use for burrowing. And they're pretty wide ranging but really a great snake to run into um, that I love to see. If you're interested in photographing snakes, having a sombrero like this handy or any kind of big sun hat, um, it's a really good technique to get them to curl up so that you can take good photos um, before eventually releasing them. And here's just one more look at that pattern because how could you not appreciate this snake? It actually feels really good up here. Like it's not that massive. The red spot, right? No, this is um. Are these western? Yeah, western. What? Wrong thing. Hold on. That is big. Well, yeah, I think it's western, but. Yeah, it probably is. It has, it has that like thing on the top of his head, like the like the little T or something. But I don't know. It's got the red spots. Big chunky lot. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's covered in sand too. So big. Rotalus Ruber. That's for Bobby Figueroa. Rubers can get really striking with these really nice subtle red hues. Um, and this one was a gorgeous snake, but definitely not the brightest of the bunch as far as rubers go. Superficially, it's a species that looks fairly similar to Aatrox, um, but they're much more range restricted than Aatrox, uh, found only in far southern California and the Baja Peninsula. Um, and here we are moving the snake back to the direction that it was initially going um, when we first pulled up on it. Wait, let me... Well, actually, you put them down and then I'll put the hat on the hook and then we're just tossing onto them. TJ, we get a photo? Hey, beautiful. Man, that's a nice snake. Let me get some video coming in the release. They're pretty chill. Yeah, I've never really had one of them. Much chiller than Aatrox. Yeah, I've heard Aatrox are pretty mean. Come on, little guy. Oh, that's a sick snake. There's that black oh, and white idea. on the tail that's like that sort of diagnostic between uh, Ruber and Aatrox. Like, they both have that. Diagnostic between? Well, like, you know it's one of those two. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. After two nice snakes at Whitewater, we had to come right back. 
And here's Russell photographing a black-throated sparrow before the herping began. I don't even necessarily need to... This looks like the same one. As you just heard us speculating, this actually is probably the exact same Ruber we saw the night before. Uh, it was almost in the exact same area and about the same size, um, but we were able to get better photos of it tonight, so we were still super stoked. Um, and there's definitely still a chance that maybe it wasn't the same snake. Here's a nice look at it. Can I pick that up? That long is nose. Another long nose. Yeah, it's a baby long nose. long nose. Yeah, he's fine. He'll, he'll jump around at you, but he's fine. Let's go! After two consecutive nights at Whitewater, I took a little day off, um, but then decided it was time to go flipping the next day. Look at you. Gorgeous California king snake. Just first flip of the day. Can't get much better than that. Look at you, buddy. Super nice snake being really cooperative. The second snake of the day was a San Diego gopher snake, which is currently recognized as a subspecies of gopher snake. And while gopher snake are really common in SoCal as well as back home in New Mexico where I'm from, um, they're typically hefty unless it's uh, a young individual, and they're also just really nice looking snakes. So I was super stoked to flip this and hang out with it for a little while. Nice gopher, pretty big one. Hey. This absurdly cute little snake is called a ring-necked snake. Um, ring-necked snakes are super widespread across the United States, um, but this subspecies, the San Diego ring-necked, is quite a bit more range-restricted. Um, and this is an interesting snake for several reasons. Uh, they're gorgeous, and they have some interesting uh, color-related defense mechanisms. Um, but another fun fact is that they actually have mild venom in their saliva, uh, which they use uh, on their prey when they're hunting. Um, Obviously, they're completely harmless to humans, uh, but this is, in fact, a slightly venomous snake in my hand, which is certainly cool. Look at this little ring-necked, such a cute little guy. Wow. Dude, awesome day. Let him back under. This clip here, I'm flipping and then catching the most beautiful alligator lizard I have ever seen. It was gorgeous and had some of the most color that I've ever seen on any lizard. Um, and anyways, I'll show you those clips now. Holy cow. Guys, this gator is spectacular. 
Holy shit. Oh my god, what a lovely animal. Look at that pattern. Holy cow. Alright, buddy. Come on back. Woo! Look at this gator. Wow. The next day, the conditions were right for more flipping, so my friends and I embarked on another flip day. And for the second day in a row, the first flip yielded a California king snake, which was freaking awesome. Uh, it happened so quickly that I actually wasn't even rolling uh, for this flip. I don't even think I found this one yesterday. Here we go. Oh, rattles. Soap back, soap back. All right, we got a rattler. I'm gonna re, I'm gonna, oh no, I, I have the thing rolling anyways. Two soap packs. Whoa, sweet. Sick. Super chill together. Two Southern Pacifics. Nice. Oh my goodness. I knew it was gonna be good today. You just feel it in the air. <laughs> These two were so cute together and it was awesome to get another Crotalus for the video. Oh, nice Cali. Insane Cali. Insane Cali. This snake was ridiculously cool looking. Um, it had that stripe and then some really cool modeling uh, toward its head and was just absolutely stunning. Ring neck. Hey. I think this is yesterday's. Oh, so cute. Ah. Literally so precious. Beauty. Ian's gonna be jealous. <laughs> yeah, we were trying to find the mountain quail the other day on yeah, Friday, yeah. but we, we kept. Oh, 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 alligator. Back under. Got him. He's gonna try Whoa. to bite me. Dang. Is this the same one? Oh my uh, God, not quite, cool. but it's really pretty. Perfect long tail. Gorgeous. Oh my nice job. Don't want to alligator lizard? Yeah, southern um, alligator lizard. Probably San Diego. If you're gonna yeah, San Diego. Slug. Slender? There's, there's, there's a slender there's right slenders? there. Yes. Get it. That, that's where you see the slenders. Isn't oh my dog? god, it's like. Oh, <laughs> holy right. shit. Oh my gosh, you're a slug. That's what a ring neck will eat. I was like, Russell, that's a slug. <laughs> Holy shit. This is that orgo oh, Orgonian, this yeah, this is the Orgoni Orgonian uh, flipping experience. Cause we get all these slender salamanders that are like this big. That's so small. Oh my gosh. Are there more? There could be. <laughs> That's unreal. Yeah, I mean, there's some of the smallest vertebrates. Like, Until today, I had never seen a Batrachoceps this small. So I was pretty blown away at the size of this thing. Oh my god, so cute. So cute. Callie. What? Cute Callie. Callie? No, Callie. Precious Callie. I like that I yelled precious Callie in the clip before as if that was going to make it any easier to hear what snake I had. But anyways, it was really cute. Nice job. I had to cut this video and then start another one because I knew I had to call my friends before I picked up the snakes um, since there was two of them. But finishing the day with a double flip was freaking awesome. Um, that put our snake total at 11 snakes for the day. Uh, we had five California kings, four ring necks, and then the two soap packs. Um, and all of that in addition to really nice alligator lizard, um, the garden slender salamander, uh, tons of western fences, and a millipede and some other cool uh, invertebrates. You may be noticing in this clip, or also probably have already noticed throughout the video, that not all of the California king snakes look the same. Um, so I'm going to let Russell take it from here briefly to talk a little bit about California king snake variability.
It is only within the last year that I discovered California king snakes can show a tremendous amount of variability in their pattern. Uh, typically, you see the barred morph, this black and white alternating pattern, but in certain locations, you can also see a change in color to more of a brown and even a change in the pattern rather than having a barred pattern you'll see some that have stripes or an intermediate of the two uh, morphs this variability acts almost as a contingency plan a backup plan for the species in that if you have a, a sort of a flexible appearance then you are more adaptable as a species to a certain area if the striped uh, pattern is, is better for your environment, then you will have this ability to produce more striped or, or evolution will result in the production of more um, striped morphs. And if it's barred in some locations, that is the more favorable morph, then you'll have the ability uh, to have those barred morphs. So it's really interesting, and then you add in the uh, aspect of um, sort of hybridization or integrate between these morphs, then you have a almost endless possibility of appearances that a California king snake can show. Really very fascinating. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had an absolute blast uh, with all of this herping and making a video specifically for herps. Um, and I look forward to doing a lot more herp videos on the channel. Um, there will still totally be lots of bird content, um, but my hope is to integrate it with as much herps as I can. Um, so yeah, thanks again, and please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it.